Hey everyone, I was just working on the van and I wanted to show you the reality of what I haven't filmed. So I am doing the front of the van and I tell you what, using the liquid lacquer and putting it in a spray bottle to spray pieces and then bring it up. I'll show you, that's what I've taken up. And then right here, I'm gonna turn the camera around, hold on. And then I took up the screws and I got all of that up. And there's the new carpet. I still have to put the edging on that, but it has been so much easier. I am now working on the other side. I just wanted to show you how what a tough job it is, but you can do it. You can do it. Um, yeah, look at this. I, I'm gonna put these on. Uh, have been sweating and the sweat got in my eye and I needed to grab a paper towel. And make sure you wear gloves and make sure you wear, you know, proper this. And I have all the doors open. I have the windows open for proper ventilation. Um, but okay, I just wanted to stop to show you that it's hard work, but it's so satisfying. When I pulled that piece up, that last piece right there, oh my gosh, <laughs> yay, I did it. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I do, I'm not, you know, I have a plan, but it just goes to show that you can do it too. I know a lot of women, like I didn't think I was looking for other people to help me with the carpet. I couldn't find anyone. And I'm just like, well, it is up to me. And so it's, it, you know, I'm figuring it out. And that's why I'm doing these videos is because if I can figure it out first, what the quickest and fastest way is and to show you, you can do it too. And if you want to do it the way I'm doing it, um, well, I guess we'll wait and see how it actually turns out at the end. But that then you don't have to do trial and error. I'm already doing it for you. So, okay. Back to work. I'm going to do the driver's side and then I have to take a shower and I have stuff to do today. So, okay. I will catch you up probably on another day. Good morning. I am in the van. It's Saturday and I only have a couple hours today because I have to, uh, well, I don't have to. Thank goodness I'm getting my hair foiled how much it's grown out so I am happy about that but I have to take a shower before I go and you can see I just got in the van and I'm already sweating so uh, it's actually a nice day here and I'm gonna show you where I'm at and um, turn the camera around so this is where I'm at I got all this up everything over here and the only little bit I have is right there and so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then um, my neighbor, I just texted him. Thank goodness for nice neighbors. I am gonna ask him, I asked him if he had time tomorrow to just help take up the seat so I can get that off, which shouldn't take very long. And uh, I'm gonna do to that what I did to this and then he'll help me put it back on. And I want to edge the rest of that too. So that's today. And then tomorrow after I get that part done, um, then I can really like start doing that. I may start to be able to do this today, but we'll see how far I get because I don't have much time before I have to go take a shower. I plan on doing the bulk of the work tomorrow. So I'll check in in just a bit. Okay, and I got it up, and that's what it looks like. And I basically almost got it up in one piece. So that was a little, I tell you what though, using the um, lacquer thinner and a spray bottle like this, amazing. And now I even, this was around here and I cut it this way and it just easily came up and I turned the seat and so now I'm gonna see if I can get this up by myself too um, I texted my neighbor and he said he can help me tomorrow night 
with it. So since I got this up, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean all this up then and uh, try and get this off. And I think I'm gonna take a shower, go to my hair appointment, go to the gym, get some stuff done. And then I think later on I might jump in and start cutting and putting the carpet in. So. I'm happy that that ended up easier than I thought. And I have some carpet that I left that I put over this. I want it protected, um, you know, while I'm driving. And the passenger side and the middle, I have the mat still from the middle. So it's all still covered when I'm driving and stuff. So, okay, I'm happy with it. So I did it. I got all of that. Uh, the hardest part was there was a part right here and it tucked under and it was actually um, What do you call it glued underneath here, but I just kept I cut it so that there was just a piece here And I kept like pushing and it came up and it finally came out uh, And like a couple pieces down there, so it's all up now. I am so I'm so proud of myself actually it was a big job, but now I know I can do it. But my neighbors probably think I'm nuts out here. Listen, they see me out here every week <laughs> doing all this stuff, throwing carpet out of the side of the van. And, um, and so I'll show you that. And then here's all my work and stuff. Um, there's the pile of 20 year old carpet. It was time to come up. So, okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna sweep up and go take a shower. Good morning, it's Sunday, and I'm excited to get back in the van. Uh, it, the weather is perfect, it's not too hot. It was probably about 70. And so um, I love the weekends that um, I don't have to get up at any specific time, and so I take my time, have my coffee, my breakfast, and then I head out to the van, and I'm excited to get started today. So I'm going to show you where I'm at, and we'll go from there. So these are what I put down. I put down carpet because uh, I want to cover all of it while I'm driving. Nice stain on there. And I wanted to tell you, so I went, uh, it's called Northern Tool. It's like a, a hardware store. And I got this. Um, I've been using Gorilla, oh, it's in the garage, but in the tube. And it's really messy. I put that down with it and that down with it. And though it worked really good for these, um, you know, spraying um, the carpet to lay it down, there's no way I can use that gel. It's just too messy. So I found this and the guy at the hardware store told me to spray both the back and the surface. So both um, the back of the carpet and the surface and then lay it down. And he said that'll do the trick because he said most people just spray one side of the surface, you know, either they spray the carpet and then lay it down, or I suppose spray the flooring and then just lay the carpet down. So that was a nice tip to know. And I'm gonna bring up this and uh, clean the flooring as much as I can. And we'll go from there. All right. And just so you know, I know I said it in another video before this when I bought them, but this is what I'm using for the carpet. So they come in tiles like that. And let's see, U-Tile Modular Carpet Tile. Create your floor with style. So that's what I'm using. And I got that at Menards and they have different, you know, style or, you know, kinds of carpet, different colors and stuff like that. But this is the one that I thought would go best in my van with my aesthetic but just wanted to show you what I'm using in case you're interested. And this is my plan. So I haven't put the, like, glued this yet, but I'm just kind of 
seeing how I'm going to do it. And this is how I'm going to do it. So I want this all going the same way. <clears throat> I got all that carpet off too on the top of here. Uh, today sometime my neighbor is going to help me. He has the tools to take so I can take this off. So I can just quick lay the carpet on there like I did for here. And I'm going to cut and lay carpet under there too. And what's nice about the tiles um, is that I can, they're easy to cut and as somebody told me, get a specific like carpet cutter. This has helped a lot in working with this. And um, so I'll just measure and cut to size and then lay them down. And then the way, that's why I kind of chose this pattern also, because cutting it, um, it's seamless where nobody, you won't be able to tell where it's cut um, as far as the pattern goes. So that's really nice. So that is the plan. I just want to see if I can get some more of that like adhesive up, especially like this stuff that's up a bit. And then I'll start gluing. All right. And I can't say enough again how much this has helped to put the liquid, uh, the lacquer thinner in a spray bottle. And then you can control where it goes. And I just spray on there. And then you wait a bit. And it gets. So you let it sit. I haven't let it sit for, or sit for like five minutes or so and then spray as needed. But it just comes up super easy. So you just need a scraper and your spray bottle. And I found the Gorilla Glue. That's what I used. That's the like liquid stuff that I used for those to put those rubber things on. And I want to tell always you safety too. first. So I always wear um, safety glasses or my glasses like that I need to see. And I always wear a mask, especially when I'm dealing with stuff like the lacquer thinner or the Gorilla Glue, glue anything that you know has a lot of chemicals in it that you're going to be working with. So, okay. I'm going to get to this and I'll show you the after. Okay, I've been working hard and I washed that part and um, then I'll go like there's, you know, little things around. So every time before I lay one um, or some carpet, I will make sure all that is taken up and clean. So it's been a big job, but I'm just going to keep on going. Okay, so this is what I got so far, and I'm making progress, and I think it looks pretty darn good. Plus, I'm gonna fill in all those, you know, extra things right there. But uh, I can't tell you how much easier it is to work with these carpet tiles. And as you can see, you can't really tell where I cut and there's a gap. So, yep, I'm looking swell. It is a big job, but uh, you know, I was thinking about it. Uh, it has been kind of a saving grace for me. Um, when I am working in here, I am so focused on what I'm doing and I have my headphones in and I'm just listening to music and only thinking about what the task at hand is so I'm just in the moment and working on it and it's honestly been a labor of love I have enjoyed pretty much every minute of working on it and redoing it and I know it's not it's not professional I am not a professional uh, but you know I am single I don't have anybody to help me and I didn't want to ask anybody because other people have their own stuff going on and it's just I'm just figuring it out as I go and um, it actually has given me a lot of confidence and made me proud of myself so uh, yeah it's given me a lot more than I thought it would so anyway um, okay I'm gonna stop here kind of a short one today tomorrow I am 
my daughter and I are flying to Seattle to bring her to back to college and move her in. So I'm there from flying Monday morning. I leave Wednesday morning. So it's basically a short trip just to move her in. And so I'm going to stop the video here and um, I'll pick it up next week and show you where I'm at. So, okay, well, again, what do you want to know? Do you want to know what it's like to travel in the van? Do you want to know what it's like to, I don't know, climb a mountain? Do you want to know what it's like to quit the job that you hate? Um, you know, ask yourself that. If the answer is yes, then just start moving towards that. So, all right, well, happy travels, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.